Hello and welcome to episode 15 of our Timberborn update for Water Beaver Overhaul playthrough here. Cycle 22, day 9. Last time we had a little bit of chaotic fun. Uh, probably the most charitable way to say it. It's trying to set up some wind power and gravity batteries over here in our industrial area. And we expanded some other stuff, got this area filled in with some water. And now we have access to a bunch more berries, which is a fantastic thing for us. I'm going to go ahead, first thing we do, give ourselves a gatherer flag here. So they can start harvesting these blueberries because we sure would like to have this space for doing other stuff. Not to say that we're going to completely get rid of these, but having more blueberries is always a good option. Uh, we need a couple more beavers. Uh, by a couple, I mean dozens, because we have a bunch of un unfilled vacancies here. But we'll get there in time. We've got a couple of beds left. We can keep adding some uh, additional layers here to the pit and ladder lodge. We could also build a second one of these somewhere else. But we'll get to all of that today. We've got a lot to get done because my priority for today's video is going to be to unlock the ENS. I cannot speak French. Please do not make me attempt to pronounce this, but I'm told it's some sort of variation of a university. But this is basically just a uh, late game research kind of thing that's going to unlock all sorts of cool stuff like mycology, which is going to give us the big trees and other plant-based stuff, nursing and other fun things. I have no idea what else there is uh, beyond all that. Tons of stuff. But to unlock this, we have to build a bunch of things. Got to research a couple of different types of blueprints. Got to make a compact library set and amass a bunch of materials. And we don't really have too much in the way of that as of yet. So we're going to go ahead and get started right away. These guys are currently making scaffoldings. Rail ran over here isn't making a scaffolding. So we're going to have them work on the ENS architectural blueprint, which needs a bunch of stuff. Some of this we already have, some of this we don't. They need scrap metal, planks, pencil sets, paper, and logs, which we either have or can make, and dandelion tea, which we are not currently producing. So what I'm going to do, come over here to our cooking house. Stephen Ross and 4B Rigger over here, currently making spicy sodas. Going to have them make dandelion tea instead, which uh, we have dandelions. We have a huge patch over here that is not currently being fully uh, harvested. So we're going to put in a second gatherer flag. Should be able to reach most of that. Looks like they can. And there we go. Get some more of these dandelions. We have water. We don't have a ton, but we do have enough. We should be able to make some dandelion tea. And that, of course, is going to have to go into the architect's lodge to uh, make. I don't know if they use the tea to... Uh, nourish themselves while working on the blueprints or if that's just a requirement for some sort of weird shadow organization rite of passage to be allowed into the university or whatever but uh they need it nonetheless and they need 100 and this can hold a 96 at a time which is a little bit annoying but that just means we can put in another one of these tanks that can hold the dandelion tea which i'm going to place in a spot where they can go ahead and use it. So, looks like this is our dandelion tea, and it is. Uh, eventually, they'll take care of all of that. Not really too worried about it. Got plenty of stuff to do, and this certainly is going to take the bulk of our efforts today, getting everything ready to go. But, we can now at least make all of this. Whether or not it's going to be a quick process is uh, not a question I can answer at this time. But, we are on the way to taking care of all of that. Outside of that, I believe we're good to go. It's just going to be a matter of time to get that all done. And uh, I think it's it's not going to tell me what everything is, but the building itself, I know the thing on the left is a compact library set, or maybe it's called an extremely compact library set. We can make that in the, uh, the screw press. We already knew that. The ENS architectural blueprint, I'm assuming, is what that green thing is. Don't know what the blue one is. We'll have to figure that out. But uh, we need 100 metal, 40 gears, 200 metal fasteners, 500 planks, and 100 logs. That's a lot. And I don't expect to build this today, maybe not even the next episode, but we're going to get well on our way and find a place to put it. Not exactly sure. I don't even know how big the building is, honestly. We'll find out when we unlock it, but it's going to be a Herculean task, and we're going to have to really, really make sure that we're planning ahead. Somebody left a comment saying I had not connected all of the paths on uh, this thing, but I think I think we're good. I'm pretty sure we have. 
I don't see any any issues, so I'm not sure what that was about, but glad we checked that. Somebody else left a comment saying, hey, you need to have them finish the primitive mines here because they have the construction flags on the top. But I kind of think this is just part of the design of this. I don't, I mean, these have been operating forever, so I have no reason to believe that there's anything left to build here. But we can, if you feel so inclined, put in a staircase nonetheless. Because we need to get up this mountain anyway, so we can either flatten it or do something else. So I was thinking, what if we just put in a little bit of a spiral staircase there, and then another staircase here. Then if they can in fact do anything, they can walk around here and check on this guy. But I don't expect that to be something that we can really mess with. But if we put the stairs here, we'll have access to all this space up here, and that is exciting. Other things we probably want to do. We need more storage for our piles and uh, the goods that go in those. And right now we don't really have a great setup for that. And I think a good place to start would be to unlock our large industrial pile. I know we only have a certain amount of science and we do need some of it for the ENS. But we're still a pretty far ways away from actually unlocking this. So I think it would be beneficial short term to unlock this large industrial pile and actually start storing things we can make use of right now. So right across from here, uh, we're currently making coal and we're making iron ore. Somebody suggested in the comments that we have one of these set to uh, just coal and the other set to 40% uh, coal, 60% iron. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to switch this guy over to that. This is already storing iron ore. This uh, probably should be for coal, which we will do right there. And that also makes this level with uh, the top of these storage units here. So we could, in theory, start putting some other stuff up here if we so chose. And I think what I'm going to do, go ahead, we have our platforms. Just put that guy there. And then I'm going to put another large industrial pile right here. And that can be set for coal as well. So we can have all that storage in one place path next to it and then uh, if we ever unlock ladders then we can uh, continue building up on top here that might be a little bit later on we do have the science to do it right now I don't think we want to mess with that because strictly speaking it's not necessary it would be a little bit of a deviation but we do want to do that eventually and as we're working our way around here I think we also want to get rid of this medium pile and have some sort of mobility up into this area so everything is nice and uh, able to circulate. This iron ore large pile I think we're also going to replace with an industrial one so we can stack on top of it. In fact probably a lot of this stuff right here could easily easily be replaced since especially since they're not full. Sawdust and planks and coal well this one can just go away because the coal is going to be up here. But if we take a look at how this is set up a little bit of finagling, I think, would be in our best interest here. Also, this log storage can go away and can, at the very least, be replaced with one of these. And we do have enough scaffolding and planks and everything to build this, don't worry. I know I can get ahead of myself sometimes, but should not be that big of a deal. I always think that's sawdust, that's dirt. Sawdust is... Why can I not remember what this looks like? I was, I see VC and I think of... Uh, <laughs> I think of... Um, maybe that's not even VC. Maybe that's just supposed to be... Uh, you know, I actually don't know. I can't see it in a uh, high enough resolution. But if you ever played uh, NBA 2K, the basketball um, sports game, they have that virtual currency that I guess apparently you have to just squeeze people for money now when you play video games but I see VC that's immediately what I think of I'm just like man I hate I hate that I'm glad I don't play that anymore but I digress VC aside uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to detonate this out so I can put another couple of these guys in here because the way this is set up right now is not really ideal but it is going to allow us to put a couple more things in place just have to have stuff set up a little bit better. These little piles actually, I know I just built this, I'm probably going to remove it again. 
Uh, the lumberjack flag doesn't need to be here because we have a wood filling planification lodge. Um, industrial pile. Yeah, I'm going to move this guy. Sorry. I know it really irritates you guys when I uh, just demolish things for no reason, but there's a good one. Good reason for this. Let's just gather all this stuff up. So what I can do is I can put stairs here. So that way I don't have to move this guy, this primitive smelter, out of the way. Because if I do this guy here, I can have a staircase up here, which means that then I can have this guy like this, and then this guy like this without removing the primitive smelter that's already here. So then this, because in this mod we have access to the curved stairs, is very, very easy for us to go ahead and take advantage of. Then we'll have this path up here, and we can put another building up here if we wanted to. Look at this. Look, look at us. Look at us. We're being proactive. We're making stuff happen. You love to see it. Coal, coal. This was supposed to be logs, and it is. This can also be logs right here. Nice and easy. And then once our explosives get put in place, then that will be good to go. And then uh, iron ore, I think, can go somewhere over here. And mountain salt, because I wanted to get rid of this so I could connect these two. This also needs to be detonated out. I think that's going to end up being some sort of a staircase. But yeah, plenty for our guys to do. We're going to go ahead and go into turbo mode. We haven't done that yet. Uh, almost 12 minutes into the video. But yeah. That is going to be super exciting. In fact, all of these easily can be replaced with the industrial piles. We just have to make sure we can actually make all of these things and not delete all the storage at one time. But if these are solid, able to be built upon, we could just stack these things up all day long. Well, to a certain extent, because this mod doesn't let you build too terribly high. But we'll make it happen. Other things. Uh, last time we put in a couple of these water wheels. We have some gravity batteries now. And I got some clarification from the mod developer on how these are supposed to work. The light gravity battery, as I suspected, is just a worse version of the gravity battery, but it is substantially cheaper to build because it doesn't use metal. The regular gravity battery model actually uses metal bars, beams, whatever, as its weight and can store more potential energy, which is kind of what I speculated. But it's good to have that clarification on that. And uh, he also encouraged me to build vertically with the industrial area which is going to be difficult, but uh, we can probably try it at some point. I just don't have the vertical uh, power shafts because I have not installed any extra mods in this playthrough, but we'll see. We also have these large water wheels we haven't researched yet, but we do, well, we have, we've researched the blueprints for them, but we haven't researched the actual item, which theoretically are gonna make a lot more power, theoretically. These right now are making about 130 a piece, uh, rated quote unquote for 90. So you know you can't really complain. But we really, really would like to be storing plenty of power, and also a dynamite here is going to help take that up as well. This was 8400 before. Yeah, now it's 108. That is going to work out very nicely. So I'm just going to keep on blasting this down as far as we can go, so it has a little bit more space to fall, and then maybe later on we can replace these with the other other styles. But hey, look at us go. We've got plank storage, got that's water. I got sawdust storage, got log storage. And these are actually ready to detonate. Very good, very good. Now this is going to come up uh like so. I guess I could could leave this here or I could put this here and we just put some other stuff in the middle. Going to have to have another large industrial pile. This is logs. This, I already said, was going to be iron ore, which is Fe, which means this can go away. And that can just get stored there. And then our mountain salt is going to have to have another place to go. But that's fine because we have all of this space. We can redo, we can just reorganize this whole thing at some point. We've spent so much time playing catch up, catch up, wow, playing catch up and keep up combined to create a new non word. Thank you very much, tired brain. But uh, we can redesign this to make this a little bit better and see what else has to happen. But it looks like we're collecting everything we need for our ENS architectural blueprint. Love to see that. I'm assuming we're going to have to fancify it in our artist lodge. Oh. 
Oh, there's two blueprints. Okay, so that's the architectural one. Mechanical blueprint, should I assume, comes from the mechanic? Uh, that's not handicrafter, is it? No. Um, yes. But I need the gears. I have full storage of 40 gears. I guess I should have another storage of gears. Uh, where can I put one of those? Where would it even fit to have one of those? Well, I guess for right now, there's no... Uh, no shame in just having a warehouse to have a warehouse. We'll put some gears there and then I can do another uh, long tiny one up here because why not? Gear storage. And then I just need to see what actually goes into the mechanical blueprint. Okay, can we make... Oh, good. Yeah, we're already making all this. Excellent. So we'll we'll keep making some gears for a little bit. I can't build another one of these. I don't have enough uh, beavers before anybody asks why I haven't done that. But that's going to... Uh, oh, we are almost out of water. Yeah, somebody even warned me, and I, I didn't pay attention. Yeah, we're going to have to... Uh, we're going to have to figure this out pretty quick here. How deep is... Right here, because I think I'm going to need to put a dam in place to keep some water back here, to keep things green. Uh, okay, so I've got primitive dams right here. If I just put this guy across like this, should keep it uh, pretty easily accessible. I guess I could... Oh, I never widened this. Interesting. They should be able to reach this, right? If I just extend the path, because I know this is already down here. Is this reachable? Yes, it is. Yeah. Definitely want to have this in place before the drought begins because that'll retain a little bit of water down here. Oh, look at that. Three days left. Because this currently won't hold a lot, but just having this present here to keep these irrigated is going to be nice. We really, really need to get our water up and running because these guys are thirsty. And I think part of our culprit is... Oh, they haven't even built this yet. <laughs> the giant buried tank. I think we're using so much of it to make spicy sodas that we uh, we find ourselves in a little bit of trouble. Because these guys are... They're just going to town over here with their water pumps and everything. And I don't really have anywhere else to, uh, to put any of that. Unless I were to come up here. How deep... How deep does this go? Maximum depth, two. Okay, so it's like the Folktales one. That's... Unfortunate, because that's not going to be deep enough either. It's got to go, got to go one more level down. I could. So now I wish I hadn't done this. So now I've got myself, got myself in trouble. The way this is set up, definitely not ideal. Well, I mean, I can pump out of here, but I just have to have uh, room to put these things in. The way this is set up is not exactly. Uh, not exactly going to work out in my favor. Because I could put this up here, but the straw's not long enough, so this needs to be... Yeah, this needs to be another two levels down, which is really, uh... really unfortunate. I could blast this out, but I don't really have a lot of explosives. And I don't really think that's the best idea either. This is a waterproof building, though, so... Um, I can, or I should say waterproof, watertight. I can build in the water, but I don't really have, I mean, I could, uh, it's actually probably not the worst thing to do if I just put in some platforms here. Where does the, uh, where's the door for this? Okay, so I could go here, here, and, oh, I could do, uh, yeah, if I just did this way. Once I don't need this anymore, I could put three of these next to each other, but I don't really need to have three. I just need to have two. All right, I'm thinking out loud here. Let's just do that. Then I will build water pump, which I can't do because why? It should let me put it on top of a platform, no? Or does it have to be because it's a water water type building? Does it have to be on top of a... Uh, I can't even read what that says. Um, mm, does it have to be on top of a levee? 
I think that's what the problem was before. But I have... Uh, I've got the resources to do this. Let's uh, let's try this. See if see if that lets me do it. Come on. Okay, so not the most ideal thing ever, but um, oh, this is gonna let me gonna let me do it. Huh? Placement is sensitive to camera. What? Okay, there we go. All right, so that's gonna be nice. Also gives us extra room for beavers to live. So we will actually go ahead and prioritize all of this with the exception of the, uh, there we go. Because we need to have pumping. And uh, this is a level higher, so, oh, this might actually dry out. This might actually dry out before we can use it. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. But we need to be able to have this for later on anyway. All that to save, I don't know, five minutes of gameplay. Yeah, so uh, we just need to stop making things that use a bunch of water. And also these tank showers, I think, are using a ton. So I'm going to pause these. All of you shower fans in the uh, in the comments, I'm sure, will be absolutely devastated. But yeah, they're using a ton of water. And uh, we really, really need to make sure we're not completely just throwing all of it out. But we do have, we have a ton of water pumps. If we take a look at our jobs... Uh, where are we down here? We like look. We got thirteen. We got thirteen jobs for water pumps and six jobs for upgrades. We got nineteen beavers pumping water, and we're still running out. That is just bonkers. I, I know a lot of it's because we're making tea and all this other stuff, but well, at least we have what we have. They haven't even finished the um. Oh, that's right, because I prioritized all this stuff. Well, the good news is. Um, should I just prioritize the one water pump to get it going? I think it's probably going to try to build that anyway, because we need, uh, need the rest of this taken care of. Oh, uh, do I, do I go above 18 hours? I think I have to. 24 hour days. I'm not going to leave it on for half the video. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know that was somebody's concern. Guaranteed. But we got to get this done. We need the water. We can sleep later. Yeah, we get this last bit in here. Finish it. Oh, come on. Really? You're not going to finish it? Well, you're thirsty. That's understandable. You got a lot going on. I hear you. Really? Nobody's going to come finish this last 23%? Will it be you? Good job. Right, so now, hopefully, they can build this because it's immediately uh, available and it's got 25, just 25 logs to get that done. I will cut this back down to 18, just because I don't want these guys to be too exhausted. But I'm glad we got this done when we did, because now I can actually build the rest of this stuff. I'm going to pause this levy and those two primitive dams, because I know they're not going to get those done. And that is what it is. But this guy can pump. Even if this drains out, there is this little bit right here, which will hopefully keep our beavers alive, because now we're almost completely out of water which is uh, not ideal, definitively. We also have these uh, irrigation tower lodges are definitely taking up a lot of water, but we're using that to make food, which is hopefully a good thing. Okay, that's done. This isn't... Oh, really? I didn't connect that? That's dumb. Let's fix that. So now this can be just regular stairs come up here. There we go. Yeah, but I got I got to get them pumping on this. Let's go. What like what are what are they building instead? Oh, they're building this. Duh. All right. Well, stop that. Build this water pump. Don't make me extend the uh, working hours again. Just just put the logs in the water pump and start pumping water. That's all I'm asking. All I'm asking. Oh, I've got library books. I could actually make a uh, incredibly compact library set. Not right now though. Cannot forget I need to be expanding this because now these are, well, once I have this detonated, I'll get another 2,400, I think, per level. Oh, come on, really? Really? 
<laughs> Jeez. 51, you couldn't have finished this before you went home. Finish the job, man. Do your work and then go home. We have one water. I cannot explain to you how critical it is that we have water here. <laughs> Come on. Just just get, get pumping, man. Let's go. We've got one day left in this drought. we got to have some water. Gotta, gotta, gotta have it. All right, now come over here, finish this. Come on. Look at you go. Look at you go. Oh, seriously? Who are you? Darticus. Come get your beaver, man. Come get your beaver. You can't You can't do that. You gotta finish the job. Come on. Nobody else is gonna come over here. We're, we're wasting daylight. Thankfully, we're not dying of thirst yet, but we are, uh, we are in fact, wasting daylight. Come on. Come finish this. All right, now, who, who's, who's this gonna be? Paul Devlin, my man. Look at you go. Well, there we go. Devilish fun back at it again in the pumping station. Now, one thing I do want to know, uh, are they keeping the dandelion tea in the architect's lodge for researching the ENS blueprint? Or are they drinking it because they're thirsty? I think it's probably, probably drinking it because they're thirsty would be my guess. Devilish fun, are you pumping? Come on, man. You were on the other side of the map. Get in here. Get in here and start. There you go. Good job. Proud of you. Now, let's see. How are we doing? What? How did this get up here? Logs of the... Okay, well, I don't know how that works. Planks there. Sawdust there. Logs there. Iron ore there. Logs there. Coal. Coal. Completely empty, but that's fine. We got storage. We have... Oh, okay. We don't have a lot of beavers working. That's probably why. Because we have 34 vacancies. We need more... Uh, Need more lodging. That's why these guys were uh, doing what they're doing. Well, now I can unpause this because we do have one of them working. This is going to give us, I think, a total of six additional slots for beavers to live and two additional jobs. So slowly, slowly working our way back. Definitely not going to have this done. We can build this during the drought, though. That's not going to be a problem. And we have some power stored, so we can actually keep this stuff moving. Uh, we're making metal blocks, not that we're actually really making too much. We do have 119 in storage, which is nice, but uh, we definitely need to have more than that. Mechanized kitchen house making mushroom stew. We don't have dandelions. Are we really? Okay, no, they're just slow. I guess I don't need to have that prioritized by howlers. I just need to have storage or the dandelions. So why don't we just put one of those right here? If I can remember which one, that one? Yeah. Set that to supply. Because there's definitely enough dandelions for us to take advantage of. That's all right. Seven day drought. The water is going to be very slowly draining and uh, I'm sure this pump will run this dry with extreme haste as it usually does. This guy is waiting to put explosive, oh, you left it at 99%, really? I gotta get some new beavers working in construction, man. This is just, this is rough. That's bad form. You leave it at 99%, just finish. Stay the extra five minutes. Right, so now this is all dry with the exception of this area right here. So that's gonna keep... Hmm, okay, hardly any of these irrigated. Well, they're not gonna die before the water comes back, which is good. And Devilish here is going to keep on pumping, I'm sure. Industrious little guy he is. Food is looking good, fortunately. Uh, the thirsty beavers are ransacking the water pumps, as I guess could be expected. Uh, in the interest of safety, I'm going to pause production of a dandelion tea and have those beavers go do something else, because we just really can't be spending all of our water on that one. We really just need to have the beavers able to survive. So that will have to be on hold. But the good news is the rest of the stuff is slowly trickling in. Just need to have, I guess Frail Rain could use some help getting stuff brought in by haulers. We do have a lot of those. Uh, well, and by a lot, I mean probably at least 10 or 20, which maybe this playthrough is. But we can get the rest of the stuff filled in. We don't have a lot of scrap metal. We have 30, but we need to have another 36 for our architect's lodge. And we're also putting it in here in the uh, the factory as well. Now our gravity batteries, 
have already, wow, they're already almost half depleted. Yikes. That's definitely not ideal. So what what can we pause here? Sunflower oil, we, okay, we kind of need that. Paper mill. Oh, uh, we need, we, we need all this, man. I can't, <laughs> weird udon. I forgot. Oh, I don't even have spatterdock. I thought I did. did oh, no, we, we have, wait, that's braised cabbage. Um, what happened to all my spatter duck? Did we use it? Because I thought we had a ton stored. Oh, no, it's on the ground. It's on the ground, so we can't even use... Can't even use the gristmill, so I'm going to deprioritize this. So they don't actually use any power. Um, rudimentary sawmill. We have... Uh, I think we have enough planks for right now. I'm going to deprioritize that. Uh, sunflower oil, sunflower oil. Mushroom stew. Also needs dandelions. I should I should have kept those dandelions that I had planted. Well, I, I do have some over here, which uh, we're attempting to get to grow this way so the berries can do what they need to do. Wait, why can they not? Okay, whatever. I thought for sure. Oh, there's paper down here. Why? Okay, well, I didn't know we had all this paper. All right, I'm going to, you know what? Uh-uh, uh-uh. We're going we're gonna to deprioritize this paper mill. Get these guys out of here so it's using less power. Our demand is 300 now. That is uh, 200 from the factory. Uh, do I just do I just deprioritize the factory and keep it so I can use the uh, sunflower oil? I think that's that's probably probably for the best. Deprioritize that. And uh, food wise, we're doing okay. I guess I could. Oh, I'll just deprioritize all this. So now, what's our demand? 50. What's what's the 50? Is that our... Um, no. What's still going? That's not... Oh, that's, that's these two things. This guy... Well, both of these guys. Alright. That's, um, that's a little bit more sustainable. We got six days left. It's descending like that. I think we can, we can make do. We can handle that. Okay. Plus we have our... Uh, <laughs> We have a crappy windmill that we sacrificed 20 beavers to make. That was dumb. But it was also good content, so I can't be that mad about it. Yeah, we can live with this. We just have to have more gravity batteries put in. That's going to be challenging, uh, the way this currently is set up. But I think we can do it. We can also put some more gravity batteries up here. We just have to have a little bit more height. We could put some other uh, buildings, maybe houses or something and figure that out. But I think this works out pretty well because we have all these deprioritized, we have all these other buildings, like the mines that don't need power. I don't know why nobody's in here. Prioritization, I suppose. But we're uh, we're working on it. The water in this district hasn't gone out yet. It's just really low, which, you know, not ideal, but it's fine, I suppose. Let's make some more room here. Because I wanted to have this straight the way across so we could uh, take advantage of all of this space. And then we can also just put some stairs up here and start building up top with some other other stuff. Possibly irrigate this a little bit later and plant additional trees, although I don't think the trees are going to be our problem for a while because we have almost 800. Well... Technically closer to 700 than 800, but I digress. We just need to get some more beavers. We have 26 empty slots. We have 26 children beavers added together. We, that's more than the vacancies we have, but I know the more buildings we build, the more of that we're going to have to deal with. So, um, corner walkway. Two, oh, I really don't want to spend my science on this. But if I do the corner, I can keep going around... Uh, diagonally up here, which is kind of the whole idea. Oh, wow, that's uh, that's actually kind of big. Let's think about this a second. Um, it doesn't seem to want to let me go up anywhere except if I use those corner ones anywhere but the center. Well, let, me, let me evaluate this a second again. Corner overhang walkway. Yes, it's like this is set up in a way that doesn't want me to use this to actually gain elevation. 
which makes it fundamentally useless for something that has the doorway in the middle. Unless I can build a platform on top of it. Let's let's see. Can I? No. Okay. Not surprised. Oh, that's kind of frustrating though, because I would think I would be able to do that. Oh no, I can build stairs on this. Uh, come on, let me click, please. Thank you. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's fine. I can build stairs on this side instead of the center. Okay, so it's not useless. I misspoke, but I was thinking about maybe putting another one of these up here, but I don't have a stairway to get up to it. Well, either way, uh, what we're going to have to do, take that out. I'll go back to my overhang walkway and I'll put this guy in. Uh, I almost had it. There we go. That guy in like so, because then I can have these stairs go up here. Oh, that already has a path in the corner. Okay, that's kind of cool. So this does actually work in theory here. So if I put this, I think this has to be, uh, yeah, that's going to have to be here because it's not going to let me build stairs up to it. All right, well, I've done worse. That's fine, I suppose. Just seems very height inefficient, although if you're going to be connecting to other buildings, it's nice to have that ledge there. But I don't have anything else built here. So how am I going to... How am I going to take advantage of that? Maybe what I need to do... No, that's going to throw this whole thing off. Because if I have this whole thing redone to take advantage of this... Let me click on this corner walkway. And that's going to cause some issues. Do I even have metal fasteners for this? I don't see metal fasteners anywhere. Um, I was waiting on coal, but I do have coal. And they're mining that, so I guess that's not a problem. But now I've just got to think. How am I going to get a second level here? I, they're not storing the berries, that's for sure. But I think I definitely want to have another large large warehouse right here. How am I going to get these stairs to go that way unless I remove this? And then I can use the corner corner walkway. I can't put that over here. So that's going to be in the way of this thing. But I could put the corner right here, which means I would just have to have overhangs. Uh, you know, I probably actually should do it that way. Because if I have that there, that can still be up staircase. That can still be the up staircase. Oh, no, okay, this will work. This will work just fine. I just am going to have to have the entrance be somewhere else. So I'll lose a little bit of space uh, to the side. But we can make this work. Let's do that. This will just have to go away. I could be making a very dumb mistake doing it this way, but we're learning. And some of you guys really like it when I make stupid mistakes, so... I guess you can uh, enjoy laughing at me in that case then. But stairs go here. Uh, this will take advantage of our right stairway. Put that back in place. This is super ugly, but is actually going to allow us to have a little bit of verticality here, which is very, very good. So that's what we'll start with. Right like that. We'll have them build. I think this should be fine. Just go up like this. Yeah, let, we'll let it happen. Uh, how are we doing over here? Still pumping, hopefully. Waiting on clay. We're not out of clay. No, we're definitely not out of clay. We have 36. Or is that in this district we're out of clay? Yep, because we shipped it over there. All right. Um, okay, well, this works. So we're not actually out of clay. We just don't have any currently. I know that's... Might as well just be out if you don't currently have it. That's what out means. Need metal blocks and gears to build the giant buried tank. Don't have it in this district, unfortunately. Uh, but I thought we did have I thought we did have gears. I don't see any. How come I can't? There we go. So am I going to have to build stored for gears too? Metal blocks. All right. Well, small pile here for uh, metal blocks is fine because we do have a couple hundred of those. And then I guess we'll just put some gears 
just so we can have them in this district. And then that should allow them to build the giant berry tank. And this district, why, why are we always out of water? I, I know I only have two of these, but I don't feel like it's that big of a deal. Maybe it's time to put a, no, that's not it. Um, why can I not, am I just dumb? I, I need, I need the water. Okay. Water pump. Look, there's a sub menu. How did I, how did I forget about that? We can put the little expansion here. That's fine. That should help us out a little bit. And then we can also, uh, yeah, we can just build a couple more. And then just absolutely, uh, inundate this district with more water pumpers. That's fine. And that'll give them plenty more beavers. They do have a couple jobs open, and we can also add more... Uh, we could add more farming and all sorts of good stuff, but that'll keep them busy for a while, considering all of this requires is just logs, which they have plenty of available over here. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, no water. Not a drop to be found. Okay, well now there's a little bit. And our uh, gravity batteries are still going strong. That's good to see. So now they have uh, 5265 out of 1080, 10800. 13 too. Good. So it is, it is 2400 a piece. And we've already got most of these, yeah, most of these trees gone. So I'm going to have this continue straight through. I might actually go ahead and just get rid of this. So we can have this path go all the way. Uh, gather a flag that's set up correctly. I'm surprised they haven't finished this yet. I guess they're just really, really slow at getting clay because we need a bunch of beavers. And they haven't built any of this either. Oh, this guy's... Oh, he just walked up top. That's fine. So I guess they're building the large warehouse from way up here. Come to think of it, they actually don't need... Don't need to build this yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this down. Because if I put another one of these warehouses, I can just turn this around this way. We can have this go straight across. So what do I want to store here? I've got uh, berries. Oh, this should be a food item. Oh, geez, hold on. Um, can I really not see the top half of this? All right, well, this is food anyway. Ah, uh, yes, the word for pineapple that every language uses except English. Can't be mad about that. Uh, what do I have that I want to put in here? Pumpkins? This would probably be a good place to store pumpkins. Uh, pumpkin chips. How much pumpkin? How many pumpkin chips? Oh, good. Yeah, that's what we'll put in here. Pumpkin chips, except we haven't built anything on top of that. But then on top of this, we can put another one of these, like I said earlier, facing the other way. And now this actually becomes a better a vertically integrated building. And then other food items that we have a lot of but don't have a lot of storage for. Ah, uh, yes, our rice balls. Definitely could use that. Salty. Salty, salty. Where's my salty ones here? There we go. All right, that's going to work out very nicely. Skewer overhang platform. I haven't researched that. Probably not going to yet. Um, yeah, I guess I guess we'll just uh, keep... Oh, I can't build... Can I really not build this off of this building? Really? Really? Are you, are you serious? You're, you're just going to crush my dreams like this, aren't you? There's, there's no reason for this. It's it's unnecessary. All right, well, the dream is dead. No thanks to uh, no thanks to our friend over here in a mod maker land. So I guess I guess my idea that I had before was gonna work out just fine. Which was to just have this continue to go all the way up, spiral around. I guess I can't stack this more than once. Which actually means that now I have to have this as a... Oh, hold on. Double platform. I have to have that set up like so because I can't have my platforms go any other way. That's a shame. That would have been really cool. Oh well. At least we have this. So now that begs the question, can I... Can I put this on... I can't, I can't even put anything on top... Okay. Can I do no? Can I no? 
Can I put anything on top of this? Like a storage pile? Okay, yeah, but I don't have any way of getting the uh don't have any way of getting the platforms up to. I know, I know they're not gonna let me do this. Nope. Alright, well. Consider me thoroughly annoyed by this, I suppose. But yeah. What am I gonna do about it? At least we still have some water. Some water. Severe disease, hold on. Caught something nas oh, okay, well now we're screwed. Sorry about you, James. Um, is it going to tell me what disease it is? No. All right. Well, we don't have the ENS yet, but I guess that's just as much of a uh, reason to go ahead and get it. I have been told that the... Oh, jeez. Um, there's all these different... Sheesh. Um, hold on. Wait, does the clinic work without the ENS? Because it, it doesn't seem like it's going to require... Doesn't seem like it's going to require a nursing degree. The general ward does. But this does not, looks like, doesn't have anything to do with severe disease. The general ward is for severe disease. Um, infectious ward, but that requires a degree in nursing from the ENS, which we do not have. But we haven't done any... Uh, <sighs> I, I guess I have to have medical beds now, just uh, somewhere. I don't have a healer or anything. Where is where's the healer then? Or is that one of these basic village structures I haven't built yet? Alchemist. No, that's not it. Huh. Okay, let me look for the billboards, just so I'm not completely stupid. Um... Nope. Food, 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 food. Mods. No, this is just advertisements. I think most of these are memes. But I don't see. Nope. All right. So no help in that regard. Are we at least uh, making progress here? Looks like we are. Well, I wonder if severe disease became something that got... um. Elevated from minor disease, and that's actually my fault for not having these unlocked. Well, medical beds, we can at least put one of each. The least we can do. Have these guys ready to go. Now, I don't know. I don't know if they have to be specifically delineated at building to take care of uh, basic needs, or if you can select, but uh, we will need at least three of those, it seems. So, unfortunately... Severe disease is not going to be cured because we can't, because we don't have the technology yet. But we are working diligently toward that. And uh, gears, I have, oh, I have fewer gears than I used to. Uh, mechanics Lodge. How how expensive is it to make a Mechanics Lodge? And first of all, where is it? I don't remember. Um, Builder's Lodge. Copyists, Candy Crafters. No, that must be under Industrial Buildings. No... So now this is where this mod confuses me is because it's very unclear which things are supposed to be in which spots. And I don't have the pipette tool, so I can't just copy paste. I need to actually remember where I can find a mechanics lodge. It's not under housing. It's not going to be under storage. District crossing. I mean, I feel like it should be. I feel like it should be under village shops, but it's not. Unless it is, and I'm just dumb. Builder Lodge, Harvester's Office, Woodfelling, Artist, Copyist, Handicrafters, but not a Mechanics. It's not going to be water. It shouldn't be food. Is it under power? That wouldn't make any sense. Science? Okay, there it is. Um, I'll just make a second one of these. Oh, Jesus, takes up the whole screen. Um, where can I stick this? I could put this up here. Wait, no, I can't. Oh, that's right, because you can't build on top of storage. Never mind. So that's actually worthless than what I did here. Uh, okay, this needs to be somewhere else then. I really shouldn't be losing this much sleep trying to figure out where to put these lodge things. So what do I have here? Coal. Okay, that does not need to be there. Metal fasteners, that probably does need to be there. Um. Okay, where is that under science? Yeah. Mechanics. Jeez. Okay, that can go. Right, it looks like it can only go here. Well, that's fine. I'll just put this second guy here. And he can work on the mechanical blueprint. Just straight off the bat. 
Now, it would really suck if this severe disease actually actually spread, manifested in other beavers. But uh, let's hope that doesn't happen. All right. So we have a little bit less than half capacity thanks to uh, blasting this. Excuse me. Blasting this down. So that's been a success. Our screw presses are still able to press sunflower oil, which is vitally important. This is all getting stored nicely. We have, well, we don't have coal because I guess we're just using it constantly. That's fine. Waiting on metal fasteners that we don't have because we don't have coal. Yep, sounds about right. Oh, it's the scrap metal. I bet you is the problem with that. I really should redo this, but I, I don't have the uh, ability to do that. Now let's do haulers, get the scrap metal back in. Uh, I don't have enough. I have 62 open jobs. How do, how do I have... I guess I just built too much stuff. But we have to have probably more of these guys. Almost guarantee. There's not a... There's not a mining lodge, is there? Elevator to the abyss. Yeah, I don't think I want to mess with that quite yet. But, yeah, I wish I had a, uh, wish I had, like, a scavenger flag kind of, uh, thing. But we'll, uh, we'll just add a whole bunch more of these guys. Because I'm sure we could find a way to make use of more of those. They finally got this done. Oh, that just is a workplace. It's not a lodge. Okay. Well, that's all right. I just need these beavers to keep making more beavers. Oh, now I got two severe disease. Oh, Beans Universe, say it's not so. But what did you catch? Am I going to have to exile my diseased beavers? Is that what this is going to be? Oh, I don't like that at all. Don't like that at all. Like, I don't think I can really do that. Is there a, is there a migration setting for diseased beavers? I don't see one. That's unfortunate. So now I don't know what to do. Don't know what to do. Okay, now, well, at least we're going to get water back now. That should help with our power and everything. But man, I thought we we're going to be uh that we're going to be off to a really good start with our ENS stuff today, but it seems like we've just caught diseases and identified weaknesses. All right, so that's Oh, I don't... What? Oh, I can't even make this stuff. Well, at least they can... Uh, at least they can just chill in here. Yeah, this is uh, a lot more complex than I thought it was going to be. What are we waiting on? Paper? Am I really out of paper again? All right. Um, Wait, hold on. What was I putting here? Okay, that was a tank that we don't have tar for because we're making nitroglycerin. So we can make dynamite, but I've got plenty of that. So let's just make tar again. That's fine. We'll make that happen. Uh, spinning these wheels. These are going back up. So, hey, the gravity batteries worked. Might not have been as much as we wanted, but that was something we could make good use of. So, could be happy about that. We just don't have enough beavers now. Got problems with our beaver population, but that's something uh, we should probably take care of next time. This already is starting to become a kind of long video, at least for what I'm wanting to do here. Well, we did, in fact, put in some more water pumps. We did do a little bit of verticality, even if the game was trying its best to not allow us to, <laughs> to do all that. We did fix our mines. Uh, we started making dandelion tea and then had to stop because we didn't have enough water. And we did start the process of working toward the ENS, which I think is a very important long-term Long-term goal, but now we're waiting on these metal fasteners, man. I, there's got to be a better way to make this. It can't possibly have to be made only in the primitive ironworks. Like, I can't automate that at all. Like, I, f I feel like I absolutely have to be able to do that. Like, the high-temperature foundry, uh, if I have the rest of the chemicals, I could actually just make a scrap metal with all of that stuff. But, yeah, I just... Mm. Primitive Smelter will make uh, scrap metal, which it um, currently is making, kind of. But I don't have enough beavers to work in the mines. It all comes back to pop. How do I have 76 open jobs? 
Oh, come on. It's like, I can't, I can't get anywhere with this. Well, I was going to try and put some additional tower segments on this, but I can't even, can't even build this stuff, which is uh, making it very hard. But uh, they're making metal fasteners now, so that's cool, I guess. I really need them to finish this first, and then this. Come on. And then this, because I want to put more. Uh, I want to put more of these tower segments on here. This is a good building. The uh, the tower lodge. Yeah, there we go. I want to put another couple of uh, levels on top of this. And I know they can't do it without having specific specific spots to go into. All right, overhang walkway here, and then I guess I guess I just got to go around the corner again. Since we've decided that's what our uh, method of ascending the stairs here is going to be. So this is going to be a very uh, a very long and winding road, it seems. To borrow from the Beatles. Oh, come on. Can I seriously not place this on here? There we go. I know it's going to take 800 years to get this. Nope, stop. 800 years to make all of this happen, but I might as well go ahead and put this in place now while I'm remembering that it's a thing. All right. Now build this next. I just need the planks. I know we're not out of planks. Oh, we are out of planks. Yikes. Now I have 86 open jobs. How How is this happening? How, how do I have... How do I just have an ever-increasing lack of beavers in jobs? I have, I have 60, 60 child beavers. How is that possible? How do I, how do I have... Oh, the well-being is super low. That would be why. Um, thirst seems to be a big problem. Severe disease, minor... Injury. I feel like I didn't have any problems with injury until, like, this episode. Uh, what do I do with all this? Food becomes a problem, but oh, there's so many different types of food. Um, yeah, I, I think we, we just have to fix the thirst problem. So now, now I have to actually take a look. How are we doing on water pumping? These should, in theory, all be uh, high priority buildings. And they are, oh, that doesn't need to be lower priority. Yeah, there we go. Want to make sure these guys are all, all working. Yeah, we don't need these to be highest priority, but they do need to be high priority. So I, I guess we just kind of got caught uh, with our pants down, to borrow the expression, making a bunch of fancy beverages, and now we're paying the price for it. Because now I got, I got 80, 80 open jobs. Man, that is insane. That's ridiculous. But I guess when the... Uh... Oh, now we got broken teeth. Okay. All right, so the game is conspiring to just murder all of my beavers because I haven't gone fast enough getting to the ENS yet. Are things at least better in this district? Not really. Not really. We're still waiting. Oh, we have almost everything except tar. Okay. Is this... Okay, do I even have tar storage? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, we're just waiting on tar to get made so it can come in here, but then we can... Uh... Then we can make a bunch of spicy soda and store it here. That would be uh, kind of cool. Except everybody's still super thirsty. No matter how much water I pump, they just drink all of it immediately. Oh, and they're all thirsty. How does this happen, man? I got like 20 beavers working this pump. And I know, I know, I looked at the billboard for how to not die of thirst. And it says... One pump covers 20 beavers. That is a damned lie, is what that is. Because I have 20, 20, 2 zero. I don't know what the French word for 20 is, but it's, I don't know, something. I have a lot. I have way more pumps than I need, and I still am out of water, so something's got to be up. So I know, I know this was a problem, but... We aren't making the dandelion tea, so I don't know where the water's going. I mean, obviously the mushroom growers need it, but they weren't using that much before. 
I don't know, things to do next time. Video's already over an hour. I told myself it wasn't going to be an hour long, so uh, I guess I can take the big fat L on that one. But we kind of fixed some stuff. I haven't even haven't even built the mechanics lodge yet because they're waiting on these metal fasteners. But at the very least, at the very least, we do have this do have this going for us, kind of. I am going to need them to prioritize this mechanics lodge. And we are still in the process of gathering stuff for the ENS. So I, I guess this could just be like, I don't know what I'll call this episode, starting process with the ENS. I can't just say we made an ENS because we haven't. We're not, we're not even like a third of the way through. But we did start down the path, and I guess I guess that's what matters. I don't know. If, if you're still watching it, episode 15 of this series then obviously you like it but uh do let me know your thoughts in the comments i always read them even though i can't respond to everything but i do genuinely take your feedback into account and i very much value it so look forward to talking with you there and uh soliciting your opinions on this series and other things you might want to see uh, don't forget there's no live stream today but tomorrow i will be doing one and oh we got beavers dying of thirst fantastic i don't know how when i have 20 beavers pumping I don't understand how this is even possible to not have water, but I don't know. Game hates me, I suppose. We'll have live stream Saturday. Sunday, not Saturday. Sunday live stream. Uh, let me know what you want to see there. I will probably run a community poll for that purpose. Other than that, tomorrow you'll see uh, Folktales episode, and then on Monday we'll be back in Update 5. And then the cycle begins again on Tuesday with the, uh, the Folktales playthrough. Hopefully we can finish that one in the next couple of episodes. Other than that, my beepers are thirsty. They're going to start dying of thirst even more than they already are. And we've got our work cut out for us next time. But we are on our way to having the ENS done. So thanks for being here. And I, uh, once again, really appreciate you as well as the Beard Boosters making all of this possible with their support. So thank you again to those folks. If you want more information on that, there's information in the description, links, and etc. But please do not ever feel obligated. Just happy to have you here, even if all you do is watch this one video. Glad you chose to spend a little bit of time with me and hope we get to see each other again soon. So have a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.